Hi, let's learn today how to upscale your images and videos. For example, let's uh, take this uh, image and after the process, after the upscale process, you can see the fantastic uh, results. We can also uh, use it on videos. Captain's log, star date 1324.1. On the left side, it is the original video. And on the right side, the upscale video, as you can see, the faces are more detailed and more clear. So in our tutorial, we are going to use the, the test image and this test uh, video as well. I will store it on my GitHub repository so you can download uh, the image and the video and you can practice uh, along with me uh, using the tutorial. Look at the fantastic result of the faces on the, the right uh, video. We are going to add uh, a bonus for this uh, tutorial. So we will take a black and white uh, image, gray images, and we are going to upscale those images and add color to, to these images. So say, stay tuned for the full tutorial. And as I said, by the end of this tutorial, we will learn how to add colors to, to gray images. So, uh, first of all, we are going to create a, a Conda environment. Let's call, call it a code former free. We are going to use the code former Python library to achieve uh, these uh, fantastic uh, results. So, first of all, we are going to install Python 3.10. Please notice Python 3.10, and then we are going to activate this new Conda environment. As you can see, now we are using this new environment. Let's continue. Now we are going to um, git clone this uh, code former uh, Python library. So we're going to, to copy the full path and we are going to use git clone for uh, in order to download and create this new folder. So after downloading, you can see these are the list of the subfolders and files. Next, we are going to download a PyTorch, but first of all, we have to uh, check what is our CUDA version. So mine is 11.6. So now I will go to the PyTorch website and look for the download section and let's look for the previous PyTorch. Now I'm looking for CUDA 11.6 and this is the one. As you can see, it's part of PyTorch 1.13.1 and I'm going to copy the install command and let's run it. It should take a few seconds to install it, it depends on your hardware. Okay, let's continue. Now we are going to install several uh, Python libraries. I will leave an instruction file in my GitHub repo. And as for now, I'm not going to run it as all the libraries at once. I'm going to uh, download each one of them. Sorry, to pip install it, each, download, each one of them. This is the, the instruction files. As I said, it will be part of my repo. And please see an important thing. And the pillow version should be 9.5. Okay, 9.5.0. I'm running it as a fast forward, but basically it's a simple process of pip install all the relevant libraries. Let's uh, wait for the end of the process, a few more seconds. Okay, now we are going to run a, a setup process inside this uh, basic SR folder. So let's run it. As you can see, it's named setup.py. So I will copy the full command. As I said earlier, it will be on the instruction file. Now let's wait a few more seconds until the process would be end. Nice. Okay, now let's install the Dlib uh, Python library. 
this is the command conda install minus c uh, minus c conda forge uh, dlib okay it's done now we have to download uh, the pre-trained models there is a command as well basically there are three commands to download this uh, pre-trained um, weights of the model so this is the second one basically it's only downloading and put it on the right folder and the last one okay after this process i there is a, a bug in one of the python files that i've discovered so uh, i believe it's uh, it's not a bug it's working on linux and i'm working on and a windows machine so uh, copy this file and crop a uh, crop a line face copy it to to the script folder i will leave this file on my github as well this fix uh, this bug you can you can also copy the images and the videos the images will be copied to this folder wall images folder okay as you can see this is uh, one of uh, my grayscale images and this is the the low resolution image so i'm going to run it on both images i will also uh, copy the video file video folder basically let's copy it to uh, our um, to our main folder this will be good Okay, this is the Star Trek, uh, the Star Trek video. Let's run it a few seconds. Yes, it's working. Okay, we will use it uh, in the second phase of our uh, tutorial. Okay, so the first step would be enhancing images. So our image uh, is here in this all image images uh, folder. As you can see, there are also several. Uh, images that are in pre-installed with the github repo and this will be this will be step one all this process we are going to run it uh, now as i said it will be part of the instruction file so you can use it along with uh, this tutorial so the command will be python inference uh, code former.py now we are adding the input path for the folder so our images is on inputs slash whole images let's add an output path all the upscale images would be under results subfolder then we are adding a few more parameters like the the weight and the the type of the up, up sampler we will use a real a ESR again and since these are uh, face images let's also mark it for this uh, a python command as well now it's a uh, run for the all images as you can see i have nine images in this uh, whole images folder let's wait a few more seconds okay now we are done let's see the results this is our low resolution image and let's go to the results folder and you can see there is a final result and this is the new image as you can see it's a fantastic result on the left is the original one and on the right is the upscaled one very nice uh, very nice outcome very nice result so now let's move forward and let's enhance a video we will use this uh, starter uh, video let's just run it for a few seconds yes it works okay and this will be our input video for the upscaling process so once again i will leave in my instruction a file the full process for video enhancement and as you can see uh, the first phase would be installing another python uh, 
a library um, that is called FFmpeg. It helps us to extract the frames for a video. So first of all, let's install it. And next, we are going to run the command that deal with the videos. So once again, we'll be inference a code a former, and we will use an same app sampler of real ESR gun that uh, enhance basically enhance faces. Next, the the input path, the input path for our video, our video stored in video underscore star trek dot avi and let's run it okay this is a very long process as you can see it's extract every frame and i have more than 1500 frame in this video so it took about two hours so let's jump directly to the results you can see the results are stored in the results folder and let's see our a new new video new upscale video okay this is the one let's run it you can see in a few more seconds that the faces and the full video was upscaled as a super resolution process a very fantastic uh, result okay now let's go to our bonus which is creating or, or transform a grayscale to a, a colored image we are going to upscale this uh, face the right face so in the first process we're going to crop the face out uh, of the image there is a, a pre-made uh, script for this so let's run it for the whole images in this folder. It will crop and prepare the images for the color transformation. So this is step number one. Let's wait a few more seconds. I have nine images as you can see. Let's go to the folder as you can see. This is the black and white uh, image out of the original image. All the images are get the, the same dimensions so now we will copy it to the folder named gray faces there is more faces as you can see as in this uh, folder it will be part of the installation you can use it as well and now let's run the the color the coloring process we will use the python file name inference colorization and the input path would be uh, this gray images gray face folder so it's stored in inputs slash gray faces don't forget the direction the right direction of the folders now let's run it let's wait a few more seconds as you can see there are 14 images that will be converted to color Let's see the results folder. All the grayscale images were transformed to a color one. This is the one that I choose. This is the original image. Let's compare it one next to each other. As you can see, the, the colorful image is very, very nice. Cool. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Thank you very much. You are most welcome to subscribe to my channel. Bye-bye.